the screw worms are coming. I find it so amazing that we have this one creature. It happens to be an insect and they are bloodthirsty, flesh eating flies that come latch onto cattle and eat them up in about a week. They turn into this fly and what they'll do is they'll rip a hole into the cattle of the flesh and then once they open the womb, more flies will come. Thousands just eating away. Ah! Now we had a huge screwworm issue in the early 1900s. And then from the 1930s to the 1980s, this new process of sterilization created a successful containment in those flies. What they did was they used some gamma radiation process, which is probably in my Apple Watch, your phone, right? radiation. And they sterilized millions of flies and they shipped them over to Panama and they blocked them. They blocked them off. They put them with all the, all the other flies. And if enough of them have sex, but a lot of them are sterile, ma males, which can't reproduce, right? Then the population would dwindle over time. And now we have to do that again because they are finding flies in Mexico. And if it spreads, then likely the cost of meat would go up because we would be losing a lot of animals, unfortunately, a lot of livestock. But I find this so compelling because this is like a period in time. This will be written in the history books that we saw this nasty little screw worm. And if you think this is the part of the video where I'm just trying to give you a nightmare, even though I hate them myself, like I don't want to see this. Ah, it's nasty. But you know what? Sometimes you got to see a little worm. Sometimes you got to see a little fly. You know why? To check yourself. I like seeing a rat every once in a while or a roach. You know, I don't like roaches, but if I do see one, you know, shit happens sometimes. Keeps you on your heels like, oh, motherfucker. Fucking roach. Is there another one? This is how it is, man. Please like, subscribe, and support.